everyone welcome back to my channel I have received the September smart art box um, and I wanted to open it with you guys on camera and kind of show you what's in the September box I didn't do this for the August ones because things got so busy now I will warn you um, I'm filming these all at the beginning of the month as the boxes roll in like this one showed up on the um, fourth Whereas uh, my art snacks, for example, showed up on like the first and then my palette full packs actually showed up before September. <laughs> so I was like, oh, um, so I have a lot of these. Some of them I'll do on camera. Others I might just do privately and then come back and show you what I made. Um, we'll see. But either way, I definitely want to unbox them. So here is Smart Art. Now, Smart Art, I think so far is my favorite. Um because they literally give you a crap ton of stuff. <laughs> they don't go cheap. So here is my pamphlet. Oh, we have a palette, so we're definitely doing paint paint again of some sort. Last week was paint. Um, this is just the sticker that you need to put with your thing um, to prove, you know, when you show it on social media. My candy that I always hide in my drawer for my daughter. Um, oh my gosh, this thing is really packed. Okay, so graphics, aquacolor, watercolor paints. Okay. I have never heard of graphics before, but, well, I love watercolors. Is this tubes, though, or a palette? Let's find out. Um, tubes. Cool. Do they have the... I'm not seeing any pigment info on the box, but I'm hoping the tube has it because most brands will put them on there. Nope, no pigment info. Well, that's kind of sucky. Um, so 12 millimeter mLs, <laughs> can't talk, uh, which is 0.4 fluid ounces. Um, yeah, there's no pigment numbers on these though. So probably not very high-end brand but whatever it's just seeing see I haven't heard of that one okay then we have aqua ink oh these are glass graph uh, graphics aqua ink watercolor ink what on earth I've never used this stuff before but I'm already intrigued <laughs> I'm like ooh. And they're in these little glass bottles. Oh, aqua ink. It would have been so good for A is for August. No. That's okay. So it looks like I have... Oh, they're pearlescent. Like, even... I don't know if the label is catching that. So there's, like, a pearlescent red, blue, and purple. Oh, my gosh. And we got water brushes. Also from the same brand. I think that brand is sponsoring this month's box. So a five millimeter flat, four millimeter round, and a three round. Okay, and then we have markers. Um, Ecoline brush pen markers. So there's an orange, purple, and pink. I'll read the pamphlet to see more about these. Oh, these are actual... Markers. I'm like smelling it to see if it smells like alcohol. Of course, I could find this all out when I read the thing. Um, then, this is why I like Art Snacks. They give you not only a ton of supplies, but full size like media. And this is Fabriano. Fabriano watercolor paper. Um, that's actually really good paper. Like, holy moly. Wow. And it's an entire sketchbook of Fabriano. Um, Art Snacks is the one that gave me the render sketchbook last month. Um, very expensive sketchbook. This is like this is what I like about this box. They don't. They literally give you your money's worth. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look and see. Um, so they're presenting Marabou Graphics Aqua Inks and Colors. So that was kind of the the thing. Um, all right, so we have the Graphics Aqua Colors. That's this 12 piece here. Graphics Aqua Metallic Inks. That's what these bad boys are. And they're in these lovely little glass jars. Okay. 
Um, they're naturally transparent and highly light fast. Say what now? <laughs> hmm. Okay, Ecoline brush pens. Oh, that's these things. Um, concentrated dyes and a liquid watercolor base. Okay, so they're watercolor or water based. Low odor ink, resilient brush nib. So I got these three colors. Okay. Fluid artist brush set. That's what these are here. Fabriano watercolor pad. Um, a 10 well paint tray. I mean, this thing is pretty cheap. I probably I don't even know if I'll use it. Um, so yeah, then they have the smart art quick start guide where they kind of teach you uh, some projects using all of the supplies you have, which makes it pretty cool. Um, they give you like some step by step. And then, um, kind of scout the husky, never quiet. That's one thing I really like. So then at the end, you know, they have project pointers using all your stuff. Um, and then also the back of the pamphlet, which I'm not sure if I can show this, which is why I'm kind of trying to hide it a little. Um, not that I think it would be a big deal, but so smart art gives you four prompts you don't have to complete them in order it's just one for each week of the month um you also don't have to do one per page you could literally put all four on a single page uh, but the cool thing is you earn points with smart art as well so like you earn reward points with smart art um known as peacock points so each prompt you complete for the month is an opportunity to get points. Um, that's why it's really good to upload all of them and you tag them on Instagram. But like, um, I'm trying to see if there's also, it's like some of the tips they're giving me are keeping these markers capped and stored horizontally. That's kind of with most markers. Um, so yeah, like they're, their little thing, um, sorry, if you can hear the noise. All right, I had to disperse some children. Anyway, um, so yeah, inside that pamphlet, you know, they give you some step-by-step -step instructions, and usually two of those are applied to the prompts, um, kind of to teach you how to do some artwork with all the supplies you've got, and then you're on your own with two others. So all the prompts for September are very fall themed, which are going to be fun. Um, but yeah, so for this one, this box is kind of different. It's not one where I could seriously do all of these prompts with you guys. But I think what would be fun is to do like one of the tutorial ones on camera maybe and like see how the tutorial they give you in this pamphlet lines up with the supplies because they literally show you how to use the supplies you were given um and i'm looking at one of the tutorials and it has you using the eco line markers oh interesting so it wants you to use that um i'm just seeing if any of them cover the the watercolor paints. <laughs> so, yeah, the first tutorial is having you use like your eco lines. Oh, and then it's so the first tutorial is having you use these metallic inks as well. Okay, what's the second tutorial? Second tutorial is also using the eco line eco line markers. I don't see any of them mentioning the watercolor paints at all. Don't you think that would be kind of... I guess they just figure you'll do that on your own. Oh, no. Um, so the second one does have you sort of. It just says to mix reds and purples. <laughs> so, all right. Um, but no, it's cool because... It um, teaches you how to use some of the supplies in their step-by-step -step tutorials. And oh, the second one does have you used some of the with the watercolors. I see it now. So, so yeah, I'll probably do one of those step-by-step -step ones maybe on camera. I don't know. I need to reach out to the folks at Smart Art first and make sure they're okay with that. If not, I will just take one of the other two prompts and do those um, on camera 
And even though they do step by step in the pamphlet, like you can either follow that and post it um, for your credit, or you can do your own. Like you don't have to submit what they do. They're just teaching you how to use all of these supplies that they've just thrown at you because you might not know how to use them. Like I've never used these watercolor ink things before. Um, so that's what I really like. This is becoming one of my favorites. Um, and I'm noticing a lot of boxes don't really hold up to what Smart Art is doing. Smart Art gives you a ton of stuff, all full size. I mean, this is an entire set of watercolor paints, 12 watercolor tubes right here. Um, you know, I mean, these brushes or whatever, um, <laughs> markers. Yeah. Okay. And this palette is like Dollar Tree, but, uh, a whole book of Fabriano watercolor paper like this would cost me some money um, and this is really good watercolor paper um, so and then they give you the chance to earn points you constantly earn points so many different ways to earn points um, on top of it and then you know if you do all the prompts you get all your points for the month and you can use it to buy supplies go towards a box I mean so it's one thing I really like, but the fact is they give you a ton of supplies for the money. Um, so, so far, out of all the boxes I've been doing, these are becoming one of my favorite, the Smart Art, um, with Art Snacks in second. Um, I just got my palette full packs, so that one I kind of have to play with before I can decide on that one. I've gotten one box, but... Yeah, so I am going to reach out to Smart Art and see what the rules are about, you know, using their tutorials and whatnot. Um, and then I am going to either film it or just kind of come back. Um, the problem is, is all of these boxes I am opening at the start of the month. So I'm filming them all at the start of the month and then saving the videos. And then I kind of have to decide how I'm going to attack them all <laughs> this month. Um, for September, I do have Smart Art, uh, Art Snacks, Palletful Packs. I did get this um, August Scrawler Box, uh, which I might end up doing off camera. I did unbox it, but because it didn't even show up till September, I'm kind of like, uh, I might just do that one on my own later um, and not even do the prompt because it's too late to do the prompt anyway. Um, and I am canceling that one, so I don't want to really focus a ton on that one, or I should say I did cancel it. Um, so I have those four, and then I also got a fifth box um, that I am thinking of unboxing with you guys and showing it to you um, to check it out. Uh, it's called Let's Make Art, and then, yeah, I have to kind of decide between all of those boxes how I'm going to do it, whether I do some of them in real time, some of them sped up. Um, maybe others I just come back and say hey here's what I created because I have a ton of boxes to work through and um, I want to kind of have some fun with my art supplies and not sit and create like every single one on camera so I'm deciding so you'll have to bear with me this month while I kind of decide how I'm going to work this with all these boxes and then next month there won't be as many because I'll be paring down a couple but just FYI, I'm throwing that disclaimer out there on most of these unboxing videos, just so if I don't follow up later or I follow up with just an image, you know what's going on. So thanks guys for checking out the unboxing, and I will be back, well, in this same video, but later for me, <laughs> with some sort of art or presentation or something. So until, you know, a second from now for you guys, <laughs> take care. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to follow up with my progress on my Smart Art box. Um, as you know, I did an unboxing, probably should zoom out. <laughs> I did an unboxing and showed you all of the cool supplies I got from Smart Art this month. So let's pull them out. I can finally rid myself of these boxes that have been following me around. Oops. So here we go. The Smart Art Supplies. I'll set the box off to the side. So I have the 12 count graphics aqua watercolors. The only gripe I have with these watercolors is, oh, there we go. 
Uh, there's no pigment numbers on them at all. So I don't know what pigments were used to make these. So I, I am kind of a little bummed on that part. Uh, I did get the graphics three count art brushes or water brushes. And then again, those uh, three eco lines. Now, of course, I'm filming this follow up video like literally weeks after I did the unboxing. <laughs> so you're probably like, I just saw this five minutes ago. So I just disclaimer there. But okay, so the prompts this month were, um, let's see, apple, maple, leaf, and acorn, I think. Now the cool thing about um, Smart Art is every week if you do a prompt, you earn points, and these points can go towards everything. Um, I was already impressed with the materials in this box. I mean, I've always wanted to try these watercolor inks. The brush pens, I, I'm kind of over it because a lot of boxes are throwing those in. However, I do dig that I got all these watercolors. Um, water brushes are great because it's fun to try different ones. I was very thrilled at the Fabriano watercolor sketchbook here. I used the paper. I didn't even have to tape it down. It didn't even buckle. Like, this is magic. A magic thing here. <laughs> it's, it's 140 pound, 300 GSM, but it, it feels like magic. So I only got one prompt done. Um, it's just, you know, limited on time, but it happens. Um, either way, I was super nervous about it. Um, and I kept telling myself I was going to do more, but I didn't get around to it. So I did the apple. Now this is on that Fabriano paper. Um, and what I did was I used the um, Graphics Aquacolor and I did use these brush pens um, here and there to mix in some new colors. I did not use them straight on the paper. I actually put them off on a palette, mixed them, used the water brush and called it good. The splatter is actually these metallic graphics inks. Um, I don't know if you can see the metallic sparkle though. Probably not. Maybe that one right here, you can catch it. And then yeah, I was just kind of playing around with it, um, seeing how well that watercolor lifted, kind of just making some layers. I really just did like the most dorkiest looking apple, <laughs> but I had fun. Um, and then I did post it. I was nervous because, you know, I am no means an awesome artist. I know the basics of art, but that's it. I, I didn't get the other prompts done. I honestly wish I did. I just, I didn't have time, unfortunately. So next month, I think I'm going to try and do them the second I get my boxes because they do send these, like literally, I almost got them like the first day of the month. So I'm going to do that. But I'm, the supplies I'm thrilled about. I can keep using these brush pens. I am definitely using these things. Um, these are amazing. I'm going to see, test them on a coloring page and see if they bleed through. If they do, I'm just going to put some, whatchamacallit down, Liquitex and protect it. But these would make awesome backgrounds and they're metallic and shimmery. Um, the, like I said, the Fabriano paper I was thrilled about. And even though these watercolors are cheaper, um, I mean, these are not expensive by any means. It's a plastic tube, plastic lid. They'll work for like projects and practice and mixing. So I'm going to keep these around. But yeah, overall I was impressed. I So far this has become one of my favorite boxes. They give you loads of stuff. But also they teach you, their pamphlet has tutorials teaching you two out of the four prompts. You earn points. They're the only one that gives you full-fledged tutorials every week on their YouTube channel. They actually do one of the prompts. So you could copy that prompt if you want. If you're totally stumped or you're new to art, you can watch it and color along with them. Um, their artist is very talented. So yeah, I. I'm really digging art snacks, or sorry, smart art. Um, they're new to the game, but honestly, out of the three boxes I have, this one is kicking butt, and the others are flopping. 
major. I did already post my thing about art snacks and how I ended up not using their materials this month because I just wasn't inspired. Um, and then yeah, I will get onto palettful, but I highly recommend this box if you're looking for something because like I said, they're the only one that gives you four prompts, gives you in-depth tutorials on two weekly videos on all the prompts, and you earn rewards points. Like, it really makes up for it in the end. So, if you have the Smart Art Box, let me know if you agree. Um, I am keeping my stickers. Uh, I'm trying, I want to collect them. I need to write the dates on the back so I remember. So I need to put that off to the side so I don't forget. And I will be filming my thoughts on palette full packs next. So thank you guys. Until next time, take care.